welcome to today's Heart to Heart. Before you think I lost my mind, I hope you hear me out. Because what I'm about to say is something that I really believe strongly about. And I really believe that I was just given this revelation just today. So I was getting a shower and I wasn't going to videotape today because this isn't the day for me to videotape. Every other day is when I do my videotaping. But this was something so profound I feel in my life that I want to get this camera on and I want to share it right away. So my title is It's Come to Full Circle and I can't believe it ended this way. And I really believe that. So here it goes. I'm just going to share with you what I felt and what I learned today about myself. So I was getting a shower and I was really not thinking a whole lot about things, but I was thinking about my name change, you know, mobile home living. And I was thinking about that, you know, and thinking about how I really like that name and I really feel like it represents me as far as frugal living and coming from this lifestyle to this lifestyle and the lessons I've learned. And it just came to full circle for me because I feel like God was telling me that this was all in His plan. A few people that watch me who don't know me are going to really scoff at this idea. But those of you who know me and have been watching me, you may agree with me. I feel like God has set up everything in motion for this day, this time of my life. And let me share with you why. Mobile home living has always been in my life, but I've never lived in a mobile home. Most people know my story, but a few people that come onto my channel new, which I'm getting quite a few new people, have no idea about the background of my life. All they know is that I lived a higher lifestyle than I do now. But what they don't realize is mobile home living has been in my life, all my life. My daddy made a living selling mobile homes. My daddy made a living having retirement mobile home parks. It all started way before I was born. My daddy bought one mobile home for $50. It was run down. And him and my uncle, my uncle was known to be able to fix anything. My uncle could turn anything into something beautiful. They took this mobile home and they flipped it. In other words, they fixed it up, resold it for $500. That started the legacy of my dad. My dad in the area which I was born is known as a legacy for having mobile home retirement parks. Well, this started and it just snowballed and snowballed and snowballed until my daddy had parks that were high quality parks for ages 55 and older. When you think of a mobile home park, you think of a trailer park that had exquisite mobile home parks. His parks were beautiful. Some of them had little bridges with, some of them had bridges around them and seating areas and beautiful places, beautiful, immaculate. But my whole life, I always thought about mobile home living. And I always thought I didn't want to live in a mobile home. I tell that story all the time. My daddy was a very fair landlord. In fact, his mobile homes, his rental units were a lot cheaper than anyone else in the area because my dad was a very fair and just man. My dad is a good Christian man, a man that has high integrity and treated people right. But when my daddy started making these retirement villages, people came by the droves. There would be long waiting lists of people 55 and older. I remember their stories. I remember how most of them downgraded because they wanted something cheaper where they didn't have as much expense and taxes. I remember these things. My hubby, when we married, he was a farm boy and we lived on a farm. And he said one day that he would never mind living in a mobile home. First thing I said to him was, are you kidding me? I'm never going to live in a mobile home. Even though that's what paid my daddy's bills and my daddy made an amazing living on it. I had that stereotype in my heart. I'll be honest with you, I did. And as you know, never say never. And here you find me and an old 1963 double wide. And you know what? It is amazing. So my daddy always told me that there's a difference between trailer parks and mobile home parks. A trailer is a trailer that came in on wheels and it actually has a foundation of wheels. 
and that's what it's called a trailer. My daddy never called his parks trailer parks. They were mobile home parks because his mobile homes were actually, the wheels were taken off and they were put on a foundation, just like mine. But whether it's a trailer or a mobile home, to me it makes no difference. It's what's in your heart that matters. And so here I am, and it's come full circle. I believe it with all my heart because my daddy made a living with mobile homes and I believe that I'm sharing a ministry and sharing my life with people who are low income. You know, I believe that everything happens for a reason and I do know that God knows everything. He knew when I was married, he knew when I was a child, he knew that someday I would be living in a mobile home. Pride comes before a fall. But you know what? This is the best thing that has ever happened to me. I say that, and so many times people don't understand it. This be the best thing that ever happened to you when you come from a house that had an in-ground pool and new vehicles to living in a 1963 double wide? It is, because it's the lessons of the heart. I've only changed my name this week. Homestead Tessie, Mobile Home Living. Immediately, my channel changed. Immediately, people were coming to me, new people, people that have been following me a long time, and they are so excited. I even had many people tell me, I've never seen anything like this, Tessie. You're doing something different. I believe that it was God that put in my ear that small, still voice to change my name. One day this week, I was really thinking about things, and through the last three years, I really thought about Homestead Tessie because I love homesteading, but I'm not just homesteading. You go to the homesteading channels and you understand I don't have goats and sheep and I don't have animals other than chickens. I have a garden. I do canning, but I'm not really into the homesteading, just homesteading, about frugal living. I'm all about low income and turning that into something positive. You know, it was said already that I'm not helping people to better their lives as far as financially by being comfortable with where they're at. But let's face it, in the world we live in, there's going to be some people that will always have a low income. They will always have lack of funds like other people. I'm here to just promote you and just bless you and just share with you. You can come from this and this and be happy. I wouldn't want it any other way. I look back now and I think, my word, Tessie, what have you learned in your life? I believe that God allowed these things to happen to me for now, for this season of my life. I believe I have a calling on my heart, a calling on my life. And my calling is to share with people of love and share with people of a way of living that they may feel is forced upon them. There are a lot of people who choose to live this way, who choose to live in a frugal environment. But let's face it, there's a lot of people that feel depressed and feel that they feel sad that they're living in this condition. I want them to find this video and my channel and have a whole new look on life. Living abundantly, it doesn't matter where you're living. There are some rich people they have loads and loads of money that are living abundantly. I have a friend. She's been with me all these years on YouTube. She lives an abundant life. She has probably everything she could want. I believe she doesn't have to sacrifice anything. It's monetary. But she lives an abundant life. And she's blessed me in ways that have been tangible by just getting me canning jars through the years and things like that. You know, it's not a rich versus poor as far as there are abundant people in any class of society. There are abundant people. We put stereotypes on people. We put stereotypes on people. Yes, it is known that the more you have, the less you help others in some people. But abundant life, it doesn't matter. We are all human. It doesn't matter what we drive or what we have. I just am so excited because I really believe that God turned my pride into something that I'm able now to witness and to help others. Who would have thought 
the one thing that I was boastful and proud the most was where I've come from and look where I am now. My whole life, I didn't need anything. My parents were very frugal, but my parents had anything they could desire. They could have went out and got anything they wanted. I was classified in that day as a rich kid, but my parents didn't spend a lot. My mom was extremely frugal because they had that plain background. My mom and my dad were dirt poor when they were married. My mom and my dad remember scrimping and saving in order to provide for the children. But by the time they adopted me, I never knew of that life. We had everything we needed, but they never went extravagant in their life. But yet I had that mentality that I was the daughter of my mom and my dad, and their name was known to the public as being somebody who was better off than a lot of people. And look at me now. Look at me now. I'm happier now than I have ever been. So I am Homestead Tessie, mobile home living, because I do live in a mobile home, and it's not stereotyping at all. Living in a mobile home is just reaching out to a large public of people. There are so many people. I did a poll, and the poll was how many people on my channel have lived in a mobile home or have lived in a mobile home. It was unanimous that the majority of the people have lived or live in a mobile home. I am taking people from here, from here, from here, all over and we're bringing them together and we're sharing ideas. I've had some issues on my mobile home with maintenance. I've had so many people on my channel say, Tessie, I know what you're talking about. You can do this. You can do this. I'm reaching out and you're reaching out to me. I'm building a community. My community is, no matter if you have a mobile home or not, that's not what it's about. It's about what circumstances are you in today? What do you want to do? What do you want to live your life? Do you want to live your life abundantly? No matter what your tax return says. The tax return only tells you what you are for the U.S. It doesn't say what you are for your heart. I have many people on my channel that are well off. They come to my channel because they like to hear things uplifting. They like to know when they reach my channel it's going to be positive. Because it's almost always positive. That doesn't mean I don't share certain parts of my life with people. That doesn't mean that I don't share some struggles in my life. But you know what? It always turns out at the end as a positive thing. And it's a thing that I'm learning and I'm growing and you all taught me. I just really feel passionate that this was all meant to be. Yes, we choose our destiny. That is correct. We choose the way we go. Yes, we've made mistakes, but God had his hand in all of it. And on my Sunday videos, I will preach it. I will teach it. I will share about my God because that is who got me through on a time in my life where I didn't even want to live. Anxiety and panic disorder took control of my life for two and a half years. I didn't want to get out of bed. I had such strong emotions and such strong physical problems in my life. I was, my heart would race. I, I, the public, I was so scared of going out in my public into the grocery store. But God was there through it all. So a few people from last Sunday said uh, a little less preaching, a little more homesteading. This is my channel on Sundays. People don't need to watch my Sunday videos if they become offended. But God is the number one person in my life. And he will never, ever be anything other than that. So I am passionate because when you're all alone in this world and you feel like nobody understands you, he's there. God is there for you. God is there. He will help you. But you have to let him in. I made a lot of mistakes in my life. We've made a lot of financial mistakes in our lives. But you know what? God put us here for a reason right now. And mobile home living is it. And I'm here and I'm just sharing everyone because let's face it, the young generation, the middle income people, people 55 and older, all of these people have learned that they have to save their money. 
People right now are outliving their savings. People right now are outliving the money they have saved. If you were a millionaire back in the 1970s, you don't have that much money anymore because the cost of health care. You know, my mama has been in a nursing home for eight years. And do you realize the count of money that that is taking every single year? It is unbelievable, unbelievable. I wanted to have my mama at home. I wanted to have her at home, but that wasn't something that I could control. And so it was up to my siblings to do that. But I wanted to share with you, no matter who you are, you have got to learn to save money for one reason or another. So it's not just mobile home living, it's living abundantly and saving your money. And I do believe the circle has come full for me. I really believe it. I would never in my wildest dreams, even five years ago, dream that this would be. Dream that my channel would be about mobile home living. Dream that I would get on public, on the camera. Dream that I would have things like this. Not in my wildest dreams. But God's dreams and God's vision is always so much bigger than our own. We can only see like this. But God sees like this. And I never would have envisioned three years ago what God would do in my life today. And for that, I am so deeply, so deeply humbled. Thank you guys for watching. And like I always say, you can count on it. You'll see me tomorrow.